What is going on guys, my name is Kana from HD here and in today's video I'll be teaching you guys how to get your own free domain name and a free web hosting to publish your website onto the internet for free. Before I start this video there are certain disclaimers I want to put out there. This is 100% legal, no illegal activities. We are going to be using uh, a free domain name register and GitHub web hosting to, and combine them both to get a free website hosting domain package. But the only drawback with GitHub a free web hosting is that it's going to be only static websites. What do I mean by static? Well you can update the website real time. Like, if you have something on your website that is like a web application that um, goes out, it has a database and a database like a login and like username and password login database and um, all that uh, mailing uh, newsletter stuff, uh, GitHub's can GitHub can't function properly with that kind of websites. I recommend you guys to go and buy a uh, web actual web hosting package because uh, dynamic websites are not functional with github pages just yet but i think there is a way to actually get a dynamic website onto onto github but that's a more complex process and for all the non-coders out there this might be a little bit more confusing so i'm just i'm not showing that in the tutorial this is only strictly static websites so what do i mean by static websites again they're websites that are like personal portfolios uh landing page for your project or something other than that that does not need to be updated like every second so with that being said let's get started by the end of this video you'll be able to get your own domain name and host your own website uh, this is just a website I made yesterday and I'm actually hosting this for free and I also got the domain name for free so I'm gonna be showing that in this tutorial so the first thing we want to do is go to github uh, create an account if you don't have one already it's free I already have one so I'm just gonna click sign in I'm gonna sign into the account logging in for the first time shouldn't see all this stuff uh, so this is just because I've been using github for a while now and my homepage is kind of different from yours so what you want to do now is go to the top right where you see the plus icon click on it click on new repository now under the repository name uh, write your website's name and for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna use I'm gonna uh, create a website called Copel coders I'm gonna make sure it's all lowercase because the website you know description it's optional but um, I've been writing this just in case, uh, you know, like some point in the future, you come back and be like, what the hell is this? I never, rem I don't remember doing this. And then if you read the description, you're like, ah, I made this back in 2018, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to write uh, portfolio page. After that, um, uh, you, I think you can have it on private, but you need to upgrade your account. Like you have to pay a subscription cost of seven dollars a month. So I, if you want, if, since this tutorial is everything being free, I'm gonna make it public. So if you have it public, that means everyone can see your website's code. So don't have anything personal in them. Now initialize this repository with the README. I don't recommend this for websites. Um, I mean, if you do want to have a README and let other people know what your website is about and stuff. I highly recommend you do it. I want to make this tutorial short, so I'm just gonna not have that. Now click on create repository. Now this is your empty repository. It has been created. You're on the uh, code section of the repository. Since we don't have anything, you see a bunch of stuff how to like, actually add files. Now the next step is to go to the second link in the description, which is desktop.github.com. Now what you want to do is download this GitHub. I usually recommend the git bash, uh, the command line or terminal for GitHub. But since I want, since I want to make this tutorial more simple and easy, I'm just going to use the GUI. So after you download that, just open it. And uh, I think you have to log in first. Yeah, sign in. And just sign in with your GitHub account you just made. After that, just click on sign in. Now, um, what you want to do is click on clone repository. Just click on that and you see all the repositories you made. 
Um, if you, if this is the first time uh, you're logged in, you should only have one, which is the one we just made. Um, so just select that, and under the local path, you want to click choose and browse where you want your website to be located at. I just want to, I'm just going to put it in desktop for e for the sake of this tutorial. Just click on select folder and click on clone. Now it's going to copy the online repository and paste it in and put it on your computer. Since we don't have any um, that many stuff in the online repository, it's basically done in an instant. And if you open it, you see there's uh, nothing there except the .git folder, which is for GitHub. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. Now what you want to do is uh, open your website files. Uh, I'm just going to be using a free template I found on the internet. It's I mean it's pretty cool and what you want to do now is uh, just copy all these and drag them to the uh, repository you just made. Now I just don't know. I'm going to delete the website folder. Now once that's done, now once that's done, if you refresh, everything's going to be good. Now um, go back to GitHub Desktop and it actually detects the changes in the folder. Now what you want to do is click on summary over here, which is basically committing or entering the changes you made. I'm just going to write initialized the template. You can have a longer description, but I don't want it. Just click on commit to master. So this now, like all the changes you made, it's going to put the tag initialized to the initialized for with free template. After that's done, now what you want to do is click on publish branch on the top right. Now this is going to sync the local repository from this folder and uh, upload all of the files you just put into the repository you've made using github.com. Just refresh and boom, there you go. You should see your uh, website files. Not that hard, right? Now what you want to do is go to settings and scroll down until you see something called github pages now this is the web hosting uh, platform we're going to use so first what we're going to do as you see it says github pages is currently disabled so we need to enable it just click on none click on master branch now master branch is the branch we've been working on like that's the uh that's the uh, branch where we uploaded all our files to by default just click on save now if you scroll down it says uh, GitHub Pages is GitHub Pages. Uh, your site is ready to be published, and as you can see, the URL is kind of weird. So that is why we will be needing a custom domain. Uh, let's just click on it to see if it actually works, and it does work. As you can see, that we are actually on this website, and it's hosting our free template without any problems. So now we know uh, the Git hosting is ready. Now all, we, all that's left to do is getting a free domain name and syncing that, linking that to the GitHub Pages uh, web hosting. To do that, go to the uh, third link in the description, which is uh, freenom.com. Now what you want to do here is uh, sign in first. I already signed in with, I think I signed in with Google or something. Uh, just sign in with Google or make a new account. It's free. Now what you want to do is click on uh, register, go to services, register a new domain. Now you'll be redirected to this page. Now just type your domain name. In this case, I want mine to be Copal Coders. I'm going to click check availability. And as you can see, the top five uh, domain names are actually free. And and uh, you can, I might actually select them by default, I think. But you need to click on them to select it. And if you scroll down, you can see uh, .com and .net, all that popular web domain names. But they're actually uh, for a price not they're not free so please note that uh, this is a two-step process like buying uh, getting a domain name and getting hosting so if you want to uh, buy a domain name and get free hosting it works that way too so just know that if you want to buy a domain you can get free web hosting you don't have to pay for hosting uh, since the tutorial is about getting it for free I'm gonna just select all the five uh, free domain names click on checkout now you should redirect it to this cart page. Now under period, make sure it's 12 months at free. I think by default it's at 3 months at free. So just change that to 12 months at free for all of them. So you get one year of free uh, domain before you renew it. 
again uh, you have to do this uh, do the domain process again for after one year now what you want to do is um, click on continue you can see it says zero USD and uh, you don't have to actually fill all of this stuff now just click on I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions complete order as you can see um, our order is done now just click on uh, this to go to your client area which is your home page now just click on services and my domains now you can here you can see all the domains you uh, bought using freenom and just I'm just gonna make it to uh, yeah now as you can see uh, I have the domains I bought, bought I got for free using uh, for this tutorial now what you want to do is um, select your main domain so I, I personally feel that .tk is kind of not bad like it's it I'm, I'm okay with having my website hosted on .dk so that is I'm gonna make that as my main uh, domain name so just go to manage domain on that and go to manage free nom DNS once you're here you want to go to a new tab go to Google and search up github custom domain IP it's this number right over here I want to put this in the description too so don't worry go back to your uh, DNS management and under target just paste that uh, IP address in and uh, click on more records and change the type to C name and make sure this is www and over here we want it to be you type in your github username dot github dot io click on save changes all right after that's done you can see it has added the dns record successfully now what you want to do is go back to github uh, scroll up go to code and click on uh, create new file now name this make sure you name this file C name it's really important that you do that and on the first line just type in your uh, domain name your main domain name which is tk in my case after that scroll down and click on commit new file and uh, as you can see we just added C name just now go to settings scroll down and it should automatically fill out the uh, custom domain for you. So you should see something like uh, domain DNS record could not be retrieved. Um, you should know that this is not correct because we actually uh, added it right here. If you refresh this page, you see it's actually in over here. So let's just give it some time because uh, this is actually a free service and this they usually take around 15 to 30 minutes before they update everything so let's, let's just give it time and see the domain the DNS record change over here All right guys it has been at least one hour before I started waiting and github has actually changed this github actually changed the notification over here into your site is published at our website so let's just test it out open this new tab and there we go it's our website which is being hosted on our domain name over here so I think that you have to just wait over like 15 minutes but I waited over an hour so it's, it's just like you have to wait until the freenom guys actually change the uh, name servers and stuff before uh, I end this video there's also there's another quick uh, there's another uh, final part which is uh, remember the other four domains we bought we got for free instead of like just having them and wasting them we can make them re redirect people whenever they type in that domain we make it so that the domain redirects it to this website uh, it's pretty simple actually uh, all you have to do is go to freenom client uh just go to my domains and scroll down until you see your four uh other domains now i'm just going to change dot uh, ml for this tutorial it's the same process for all of them uh, I'm gonna just change one of them to save time. But once you go to manage domain, just go to management tools, and here you see something called URL forwarding. Just click on that. Now, under URL forwarding, uh, make sure you just type in the main URL, which is in my case, copelcoders.tk, and click set URL. And you say change is saved successfully. Now, if you open your tab and go to copelcoders, 
copelgorders.ml it's actually gonna redirect to uh, copelgorders.tk which then redirects to uh, github which then shows the uh, web page over here so we're not we're gonna get the same web page uh, or website with from the github hosting with this uh, domain name so it's pretty simple just do that for uh, all of them and uh, you should see the same uh, website being hosted so that's about it for this tutorial guys I hope you guys liked it I hope you guys learned something new and subscribe if you haven't already smash that like button and share this video so other people can know about this cool new method for getting free domains and hosting them for free and good luck on your website guys and as always I'll see you guys in my next video peace